Hello everyone, so this is a very quick video and a few updates on survival mode. So now a thread was started on the Gotham City, on the forums page, and um, people were speculating whether it's going to be 4-man, 8-man, what's going to be different, is it going to be new currency, will you be using the old currency which was the data chips from this season 1. So now um, Charon who is a developer, he came ahead and answered a few questions. He goes levels 1 to 10 this season have been made more accessible so that means levels 1 to 10 will be much easier than before and available to anyone with low artifacts or low, lower skill points than normal okay they will be able to get through levels 1 to 10 or rounds 1 to 10 pretty easily okay and then of course the higher rounds after this will be much harder like on the normal slash elite level of raids okay so now um new when new rewards are on the forever vendor and season vendor the amount of new things on the forever vendor is minimal but very cool the band on this season vendor is about the same and very cool okay so old forever vendor rewards are there but not discon discontinued at this time old season vendor has season one items but you still have access to you still have you will still have to have had defeated the appropriate rank from season one in that season to buy them so let's say um you got up to round five past round five fifteen twenty five at these certain rounds you were able to buy certain types of henchmen um like the bat trinkets and everything so if you did pass these rounds in season one on the season two on the old seasonal vendor you will now be able to buy those bat um, trinkets and henchmen or shadow orbitals again of the vendor and any boss with a rare drop that repeats this season will have the rare drop like the minotaur is back with his horns okay and fifth and ten bosses will never repeat as fifth and ten may show up in future as another rank and still drop the rare drops like a vampire lord and a shadow orbital and another thing a bosses are the same except for 5 and 10 so 5 and 10 are different these two are new okay and the lineup order of previous bosses had changed to difficulty learned from previous seasons okay so we will be getting new um, bosses throughout the rounds okay now that's a little bit about season 3 Season 3 will have an involved survival mode with new features, more accessibility, less drawn out fights, but we'll have a lot more bosses. A new and 5th and 10th boss and possibility the introduction of other qualifying boss counters that are great for SM, but not great for creating a reward suit for a maze for example. Okay, so he answered a few questions over and I believe he went ahead and um, uh, answered a few other questions which he did not cover. So what does accessible mean? So I can log in at 1 a.m. First a queue and likely to get into a round X just to randoms through don't make match make. It's possible to predict based on randoms. What I what I mean by that is one to ten has been just stat wise to be less brutal than before, which is good. Meaning the CR groups are leading CR entry to have a better chance of defeating them. Because I know in season one, um it was much harder for um, people with minimum CR to even get past the first or two rounds of the survival mode. I won't go through everything that um, the developer has replied back to, but I will leave a link to this forum post and you guys can go through and have a look. Okay? So, same currency last time as data chips, and add, to add to this content, season 2 will fight in the same arena in season 1. Okay? Season 2 will use the same currency as Season 1. Season 1 specific rewards will be there only for the people who played it before or got to whatever run that was necessary in Season 1 to be able to obtain those items of course. And we, we still have the same structure where rewards unlock on the vendor as you go through the runs. In a lot of ways Season 2 is following Season 1 closely with new rewards, fixed bugs and more accessibility and easier um, hours in the lower rounds that's nice so yeah that is all for the video thank you for watching um as as i said as i said before 
I will leave a link to this one page in the description and the comments. You can go through the thread yourself um, and have a look at what the maps and the developers are replying to everyone's questions. And if you have any questions of your own, um, you can go to this forum post and post them yourselves. So that is all. Thank you for watching.